It's our pleasure to welcome Mr. Pee Wee Herman. because I, I, I don't think people really understand that we're doing a Broadway scale production here in Los Angeles at Club Nokia with Pee Wee Herman and we've got really a remarkable cast and set and production values and I'm going to let Pee Wee and Alex talk to you a little bit about that. Um, what we're, what we're going to, uh, what the Pee Wee Herman show here is going to be is a 90 minute theatrical extravaganza could be modeled on the five seasons of the TV show and the original Roxy show back in 81, which ran for five months and was shown on HBO. And it's not just a comedy show. This is 11 actors, 20 puppets, seven puppeteers, Broadway scale uh, production values throughout. Uh, some of the smartest uh, young and experienced talents uh, working on Broadway today. Uh, the set you'll see is by this guy, Dave Corrins, who's probably uh, the most exciting young Broadway designer uh, working today. He did Passing Strange on Broadway uh, and uh, many others. Uh, and you'll see that the set is modeled on the TV show and it's taking sort of the best, most iconic elements as well as adding uh, a portal that theatricalizes the whole experience, uh, a back wall of paillettes, and then many, many tricks and surprises throughout. Uh, there are puppets located all over the set, all these 20 puppets, some that drop down from the ceiling, some that pop up at the floor, that move in different ways, that animate in different ways, that light up, lots of light boxes. It's really going to be a sort of a feast for the eyes. Uh, the person who's lighting all this is Jeff Kreuter, who's a Broadway lighting designer. Again, young, smart, fabulous. Uh, Ann Klaus Farley is our costume designer. She worked on Bat Boy in New York. Uh, she's doing Toy Story for Disney right now down at the Hyperion has three Ovation nominations right now for costume design, and she's really one of the most fantastic LA uh, costume designers there is. Our, uh, one of the people uh, who's in charge of the puppets is Basil Twist, who is like the leading experimental puppet designer in the country. Uh, he has Arya uh, with a twist down at the Red Cat right now, and is doing effects for uh, the Addams Family musical out in Chicago that's going to come to New York. And we have Venial doing makeup and wigs, who's a a, a Oscar and Emmy winning uh, makeup and wig designer. Um, uh, so it, it's all these new people as well as some of the, the you know, the most exciting uh, original people. We have the original actors playing Missy Vaughn, Jombie, Mailman Mike. We have Jay Cotton who's doing the original, uh, who did the original music reprising his role here. Jimmy Cuomo who did original art direction as well as original, some of the original writers working alongside uh, alongside Pee Wee on this, uh, as well as some amazing new characters. We have uh, uh, a firefighter, a bear, Sergio. I don't want to give away all these people, but like, I, I, but they're like a whole new sort of uh, flock of people that are going to add to the playhouse, and um, uh, some new puppets as well. And this is all within a uh, narrative. It's a, it's a plot-based uh, show. So, you know, it's part comedy show, part play. It has original songs. It has a sort of uh, rock and roll sensibility. It's really hip. It's kinetic. It's visual. It's smart. It's subversive. Uh, it's for all ages. If this was, uh, you know, rated, uh, if this were a, a movie, it would be PG. But it's got, uh, you know, something for for young people, for people who love the show before, and for adults who've never uh, really experienced the show before. You know, Pee Wee, for me at least, Pee Wee really. Uh, represents our sort of collective id as people, the, the things we want uh, uh, deeply and desperately. And, uh, and uh, it is it's sort of a hilarious take on, 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 you know, a part of each of us. And so I think it's something that uh, everyone can relate to. And at the uh, low ticket price that they're offering for this, it's like, it's incredible. You can get a Broadway show for not Broadway uh, ticket prices. It's, it's going to be really cool. And just as the Roxy was at one of the hippest, coolest venues at the time, in LA, you know, being at the Club Nokia, it's uh, it's 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 going to be fabulous to be here, to be at like you know the cool epicenter uh, of 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 what's now going to be you know LA theater. So it's great. 
Thanks so much. So Pee Wee, you must be excited about after after this sort of respite of not performing live to come back together and do this entire show with all these people. Um, why don't you tell us about how it feels? Well, um, it feels really exciting. You're, you're correct about that, Mr. Sanders. <laughs> um, and yeah, just to echo a little bit about what our director just said, I mean, that's part of the thrill for me is knowing that I'm surrounded by all this talent. It's just been incredible so far. The, the, the original show uh, was done on a shoestring budget. I borrowed $5,000 from my parents to put on the original production. That included everything, publicity, theater rental, everything. So this theater, th th this time we have, you know, a real budget and all real people doing everything, you know, real, uh, really unbelievably talented people. So when I saw the drawings that Ann did and the directing that that Alex has done. I mean, it's just like professional. I mean, that's the part that's really <laughs> shocking a little bit. <laughs> it's so professional. You know, we're, we're in rehearsal every day now for you know, six days a week. I kept going, uh, so if we have Thursdays off, then does that mean, that doesn't mean month, Sunday, Saturday and Sunday rehearsals. And they kept going, yeah, that's what it means. So I would write somebody else and ask someone else the same question. <laughs> until finally there was no one else to ask and it was clear we were working Saturdays and Sundays. So we're rehearsing every day, all day long and doing rewriting on it and it's, it's so exciting. I mean, we have all the, all the puppets and all these new characters and all the old characters and the set is unbelievable and uh, it's just, it's, it's really gonna be great. I mean, I, I can't believe how good it's gonna be. It's gonna be really, really good, I swear. Nobody's gonna, <laughs> nobody's gonna think it's not really good. What's that ring you're wearing? Oh, oh, this is my abstinence ring. This plays a little part in the show, also. I don't want to give too much away. And, and you know, it's, it's quite exciting that this is the first time that Club Nokia has ever done a big theatrical production like this. For them to have cleared their entire schedule for January and part of February, for us to be able to come in is a real testament to you, Pee Wee, because I think that you know normally there's all kinds of rock bands doing stuff here, and the Grammys are, are, are coming up in January. So the fact that you're going to be the the center of, of LA Live for a whole month is is really really cool. Yeah, I think so too. You know, I mean, I do have that in common, like Snoop Dogg and you know all the people who come here and perform, and we have that kind of. You know, same sensibility. We have a lot in common. Yeah, I can so. see you, Snoop Dogg, Ziggy Marley. All yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, There's we're usually, you can be found, we can all be found up in the VIP <laughs> lounge usually any given night here at Club Nokia. Not Nokia, by the way. Yeah, I, th I think I can say it. Just making conversation. <laughs> Nokia, right? And thanks to Bud Light, too, for sponsoring the show. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, I, I, I like, do you drink your Bud Light out of a, out of a can or oh, a glass? No, I you? never touch Bud oh, Light, okay. but I'm not opposed to it. I love the Bud Light people. I love the Bud Light logo. I love everything about, about Bud Light. I just don't feel like, you know, I should, like, participate, but I'm not condoning it. In fact, I'm encouraging it. <laughs> I, 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 I'm really excited that Bud Light is... The show is partially brought to you by Bud Light. So are you. So are we. So, so I, Did I mention Bud Light? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I've noticed, I think a lot of people have noticed, you know, that, that you've got how many, you know, tens of thousands of people who are on your Facebook now. And, oh, yeah. And, and, and Twitter you and Facebook. And, Twitter and, and, <laughs> and that, that's a whole new thing for you, isn't it? Peter? Yeah. Yeah. It's really exciting. I mean, I'm Twittering all day long or... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> carpal tunnel. <laughs> and uh, speaking of carpal tunnel, you know we're gonna part of part of what's happening in the show is we're wiring the playhouse. And we're gonna get online in the playhouse. The playhouse is gonna become you know up into the nineties now. Oh, that's right. Because when, the, when, when your show was on CBS, you didn't have it. You didn't. Yeah, it was before the World Wide Web and everything. Right. So you and Al Gore. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Um, I think we are going to break into um, some smaller groups and and have small, you know, more more questions versus us sitting here at this table. Now. So, um, is that correct? That's correct. That's what they're telling us we're going to do. So, so we're going to stand up now. Okay. 